What is, what's up you guys? Two broken nails today, just to get that out the way. I am going thrifting today. Of course, I had to show you guys my outfit really quick. It's still warm in New York, surprisingly. So this is what I'm wearing. I am a short girl, so I can kind of like pull off wearing like literally just sports bras as crop top for the most part i just like bring my pants up to be like high waisted and then like no one questions it honestly it doesn't look that crazy here's the fit before i go this top is actually a nike sports bra and i got it at the thrift store of course these sweatpants i think are just from like walmart they're just like regular hanes sweatpants and then on my feet i have my off-white jordan one collab yeah i haven't worn these in a while i kind of forgot about them oh yeah in the bag this is my Louis V bag, and honestly, I was looking at it, I was like, I kind of don't like the colorway on this bag. So, I'm going to try to find another one. Got this shit on Canal Street. If you know, you know. I say that all the time, but honestly, it looks fake as fuck, and I want to find a better replica bag. If you're new to this channel, I do wear replica bags. It ain't a thing to me. I'm from New York. I see it all the time. It's very kind of normalized here, depending on who you ask, of course, but they sell it everywhere in New York City. So, I'm going to try to find a better fake this one kind of sucks real quick i did find this louis v bracelet on canal street also it looks like this it has like the louis v pattern and then the little lock and it's really cute and i've been wearing it a lot lately okay let's focus this is a thrifting vlog guys i'm going back to the thrift today if y'all don't know i have been making announcements on instagram i don't think i've said it on youtube yet but i am dropping my own website yay so usually i sell on depop and on instagram flash sales but i decided to do my own website just because um i'm tired of paying depop fees and i just want to have all my stuff put in one place so you guys can like shop through and skim and you don't have to be like you know if you miss a flash sale you, have, you don't have to be like oh shit like you know like missing out and stuff so i just thought it'd be better all around for everybody and it's a better way for me to monitor the sales that i make and where they're going out to and shipping and stuff like that it's just more like professional and put together so i was like nah i have to make that move guys it's a money move you know 2020 money moves so i'm very excited about that and that's actually dropping today the day that this video goes out my store will be live babies so please go shop i will leave the link down below my shop is called soul styles shop and i wanted to show you guys some of the inventory i have so here is a bunch of stuff that i have are kind of like separated into categories so here's like the big purses and stuff that i have that will be on my website i have this dooney and burke purse and and a coach purse and a lot of other name brands will be in there there's all my pants and track suits and basically all the clothes will be on there um i have size extra small through extra large here i have like mini purses and wallets i have all these sunglasses which are literally brand new and super amazing they're like y2k sunnies and then here i have so many cds guys i have like plushies and hats and other accessories and stuff like that so yeah i've basically been thrifting like this whole quarantine like ever since the thrift opened up like you know i was in there girl staying low key about my shit been stocking up my inventory so now i'm just gonna have a huge 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 blowout sale so please head on over there see what's up today i'm just doing some last minute shopping because today is friday currently anything i find today i can have up on the website by sunday which is when this video is gonna drop um hopefully i can edit it in two days i think i can but we'll see i don't know why this intro is so long i know y'all just want to see me thrift so honestly i'm gonna stop chatting and let's just get on to the thrift hey y'all we pulling up right now i remembered my headphones phones this time i like to hear music while i'm shopping especially if i'm like alone so i'm not like a lonely ass bitch we in there hey y'all it me so i decided to do a voiceover so you wouldn't get bored to death by this montage but i'm sure you've seen this a hundred times i always go to the same thrifts because they're my fucking favorite but always check the little girl section and always check the men's section because you never know what you're gonna find i found these two cute mini purses and then always check the athletic section of course that's where you find all the track suits guys and all the throwback nike and vintage shit but it was going pretty slow for me like not gonna lie i wasn't finding a whole lot of shit there actually was this really cute victoria's secret velour like um track jacket but the zipper was fucking broken so i was like you know what i'm not gonna take it because who wants a jacket with no zipper not me okay guys so i just left the first thrift i got a good amount of stuff i feel like i didn't record that much because there was actually a lot of people in there and i don't know i just feel weird recording in front of people or like around people i don't know i don't want no one to be like oh my god why are you filming me like bitch this isn't about you okay yeah hopefully i can film more in the second one i'm going to another thrift everything i buy today i'm going to be showing y'all at the end of this video and most of it is going to be on my website so stick around to the end to see what i got hey guys i'm at the second thrift it's actually the same thrift just a different location but 
I really have to poop, so I'm hoping they have a bathroom. <laughs> and yes, in fact, they did have a bathroom, praise the Lord. But I started off looking through the athletic section, which is why you see all these track pants and stuff. I found this really cute blue color. It was brand new, so I had to put that in the cart, you know, just throw it in a bag. And then I found this men's track suit, which I thought was fucking amazing. It was huge. I don't know why I was in the women's section. I had to grab that as well. I ended up putting my sweater on because I got a little chilly. Then I went over to the purse section where I then found this Kate Spade polka dot bag, which was so adorable. I wanted to get plushies for my website, so I headed over to that section. I ended up finding this really cute little panda bear one, sipping boba tea. And then I ended up finding this Build-A-Bear with little pink hearts all over it. So yeah, I got that as well. Here I am trying to get a thumbnail pick in. And then I ended up finding these amazing pink Juicy Couture velour track pants which are literally my dream come true like look at this amazing graphic all in glitter size extra small only 5.99 are you stupid i had to get those i ended up getting really lucky and finding a second pair of juicy pants with the glitter letters going down the side and they are in bubblegum pink only five dollars again of course i had to get those and then i found this adidas track jacket with these baby pink stripes got that too and then here's my cart at the end all the way full literally full to the top i got so much stuff guys so wait till the end to see all the things Things I got okay guys I'm back ah! oh my god there's a bug in my room okay so like I said I'm back at home now and I had to take my lashes off because they were really irritating my eyes so please don't make fun of my butthole eyes let's get into what I bought I bought a lot of stuff I bought this big huge bag at the first thrift at the first thrift I spent $140 and then at the second one I spent a hundred dollars I bought this little teddy bear and I think I showed it in the vlog but it is actually a builder bear like it's from like builder bear workshop like he has the tag on the booty it's so cute it has little like hearts all over it so i bought this and i might keep this it is a coach scarf it's like a silky scarf do you guys like when i tell you the prices of stuff or is that just like boring i don't know but this was 30 dollars but i got it um 50 percent off so it's only 15 dollars next thing i got were these track pants They're actually from old navy but i thought they gave like really good y2k vibes they have this like pinstripe going down the side it has this like really cute like sky blue detailing going on and they're kind of like that windbreaker type style i actually bought these in the men's section they'd be good for women honestly i could wear these because they're like adjustable i think these are called drawstring and my friend literally just told me this the other day and i was like what i've been calling them jawstrings this whole like my whole life like literally my whole life i thought these were jawstrings and she's like why would they be called jawstrings i'm like why would they be called drawstrings like i don't get it yeah so you learn something new every day it was 12.99 i got this cutie little bag i love the tones on it because it's kind of like a blush pink this was 6.99 oh i was able to find a bunch of track suits which i was so happy about because I, when i dropped my website i want to have a lot of options for you guys i got this gray and i didn't think you guys would be into gray sweatsuits or like track suits but after i dropped it on my depop i know like a lot of people were requesting me to get more gray this one's in an extra large and it's by new york and company like that velour material it's an extra large of course it comes with the matching pants they just look like this they're pretty plain i have nothing on the booty but yeah, just a cute little matching set. I got these pants. Oh, I forgot to say how much that was, but that was $16. And these were $10.99. And I love this color. Olive kind of army green. These are in a size extra small. They're like in brand new condition. Oh! Oh, interesting. Okay, so the bottom I just discovered you can adjust. I thought it was ripped at the bottom, but no, you can adjust it and make them into like a jogger style, like cinched at the bottom. Wow, that's so interesting. I've never seen that before on pants. Got this little wristlet, and I think it's by New York and Company. It has this monogram print on the outside. It looks kind of like those little coach wristlets in this really nice neutral kind of mocha color. And this was $6.99. I found this Juicy Couture track jacket and it was $12 it's this beautiful navy it is in a size small this is literally the only reason I picked it up there you go do you see it the J on the zipper is all studded out you can't really see it but you can kind of see it like sparkling and it has like gold hardware um other than that it's pretty reg it's pretty regular it's just um navy it has a hood of course sorry I'm kind of rushing but Bitch, I'm tired. My back hurts. Like, I'm just trying to eat and go to sleep, to be honest. These were $8.99, and they are in a size extra large. And I love this color. It just gives me really, like, rich bitch vibes. And look at the booty. 
first of all we got the infamous booty pockets and these are rhinestone the fuck out they're all icy the brand is plush and lush velour size extra large boot cut at the bottom you know the drill honestly this could be men's or women's and i paid 6.99 and these are dkny velour sweats i found these in the men's section they're dkny and they have these little like gray pinstripes going down the side they have that really good like baggy style to them so this could be men's or women's but they are pretty big they're a size large in men but you know for my thick girls out there y'all can rock these too right got more track pants these were only 4.99 and they were a size medium i really like that they have the drawstrings on them are <laughs> they're like silky and it has a silk band going down the side also britney spears vibes they're a nice baby blue color they're not velour they're like more like an athletic material i got these juicy couture track pants here's a tag they're a size medium they're honestly just plain gray but i feel like you can't go wrong with gray sweats i feel like they are a staple in everyone's wardrobe they are velour they are boot cut you know the vibes you know the drill everything it has no booty pocket they're just a pretty typical pair of juicy couture trackies okay i got this mini purse the shape of it looks really weird right now just because it's like flat as fuck it's by liz claiborne it was 6.99 you can never go wrong with your little mini purse you know it is by new york and company again and i just got it in this beautiful purple color so here is the top it has a little rhinestone on the zipper again and here it's the matching bottoms they just look like this they're stretchy pretty standard once again just the velour yeah really cute here's them together oh i got this other plushie i just thought this was like adorable it's a little panda bear and he's drinking his little boba tea i love boba tea y'all that's my ish right there and this was $1.99 this mini coach wristlet it just has like the classic monogram coach vibes with these kind of metallic silver letters this was 3.99 they gave me these funky little tote bags <laughs> let's just go crazy Ooh. okay honestly the second thrift hit way better than the first one y'all about to see uh, i mean you probably saw it in the vlog already we got hella juicy hella juicy hella juicy we have these juicy along the side and honestly i feel like i've had these before i'm having like deja vu Honestly, I'm gonna move this bag because it's very ugly, but these look very familiar. It's giving me weird deja vu vibes It was $4.99 which isn't bad and I love the bubblegum pink color. I've never had white pants Okay, I've always felt like white pants are really hard to style I found these and they are in an extra small They are velour and they have pockets and no, they're not juicy. These are actually Michael Kors Michael Kors bitch. Look at the tag. I'm not lying <laughs> They were $18.99, so yeah, pretty pricey for my thrift. I thought these were so cool. I've really been into vintage Nike lately. I feel like you can tell by the tag. I feel like it's all in the tag. I feel like this is like their old logo. They're just like these windbreaker pants. They zip up at the bottom. They give me very 80s vibes. I bought a shirt to go with these, and maybe I'll make a bundle out of it. $5 for these. Honestly, let's not sleep on this bag. It is brand new with tags, and it's from Rolling Stone. I thought I'm looking at it. Okay, this kind of goes hard with like an orange fit and my orange sneakers all right okay thrift they just gave me that for free because um i had a lot of stuff and i didn't have a bag so yeah <laughs> i found these baby pink juicy couture track pants like look at this detail right here it says juicy in like gold sparkly letters it's this really pretty baby pink color i've never seen juicy couture in extra small usually they just come in petite and that is their like extra small but um i guess they have these too i also got this little um I think it's like a dad hat or like a baseball cap but it's just by gap and i don't know i just thought like a cute little pink hat to wear with your like you know juicy couture little pink track pants you know like color coordination to me is everything color coordination like i'm such a fan speaking of pink we now have this adidas track jacket it has these baby pink stripes kind of steel gray color um it just says adidas on the front and then it has these pink pinstripes and i just thought it was cute kind of funky girly i don't know i love adidas stuff and i also love nike i think i like nike a little bit more size um medium and women so yes i will be selling that soon too imagine these pants right and then this cute little t-shirt because it has like 
the blue lettering on it also it's brand new it still has the tags on it I just thought like the blue vibes the color coordination was there got a few purses at this second thrift i feel like purses get me the most excited that's like my favorite section in the whole thrift when i find the purses i'll be going off this first one is by kate spade i hope you guys can see it it just has like this little bow on it it has polka dots on it i just thought it was really funky and girly it was 5.99 this bag it is brand new okay sis and the original price tag was 60 dollars Okay, I'll see that. It was originally $60. It just looks like this. It's like these blush tones and this nice funky little pattern, kind of giving me 70s vibes. I spent $10.99 on it. It has these really cute like keychains. They just look like that. I love anything that has silver hardware. And this bag is by Nine West. Got this bag also. I think it's like a knockoff coach bag, honestly. Um, this is not coach. It just has kind of like the coach vibes with the like patchwork on it and stuff. But I just thought it was really fire because like all like the metallic shades. I love metallic shit. It just gives me really futuristic vibes. And for the fake coach bag, I spent $7. Okay, I was really excited about this one, y'all. So... A lot of people always ask me to make guy bundles or to sell guy clothing. And I keep that in mind literally while I'm walking through the thrifts. I'm like, oh my god, let me find some guy pieces. But it's really hard to find good guy clothes. I don't know if just like more guys thrift, so more guys be taking the good shit. Or just less guys donate their stuff. Like, I don't know. But I really don't be finding a lot of good guy clothes. But I found this really good vintage set, guys. And I actually found this in a woman's section. But I was like, um, this will look so much better on a dude. Are you crazy? It's really big and baggy i really think this is a guy set really good cream like it just gave me like teddy bear vibes like imagine your man pulling up in this like uh, imagine any man pulling up with this like he could get a hug real quick like this just gives me teddy bear super cute cuddly vibes like he could get a hug from me pulling up in this yes sir yeah it just looks like this it's really baggy here's the matching pants the pants are just the tan all the way around and they're super baggy oh i think this is the last thing actually and it is a another set another track set is an extra large just like this it's like this steel gray here's the pants and honestly it's just like a plain gray track suit and the bottoms just look like this they're just regular gray this they have this line on them because how they was on a hook i should go away after i wash them like my pants do this too once you put them on a hook they get like these like creases they're pretty plain i don't know why i chose this to end off on but whatever but yeah y'all don't forget to check out my website i worked so 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 hard on it i put mad hours in to get this website up and running so it would mean the world to me if you guys why am i not in focus yeah it would mean the world to me if you guys just checked it out look through it real quick i have um track suits on it i have just hella vintage stuff i have all sizes extra small through extra large i have plushies on there i have sunglasses on there i have belts hats necklaces like a whole bunch of stuff so yeah go ahead take a look y'all i will leave the link down in the description and yeah i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching this video and i will catch y'all in the next one